welcome to JUHC's Daily Bread. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I can only imagine God's love for us, his children, but I am so very grateful for that love. A love so powerful that it reaches beyond even the constraints of time. Because although he sent his son over 2,000 years ago to redeem mankind to himself, that power of redemption is still available today. John 3.17 says, For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He made the offer of salvation and allows each person to decide for themselves. In other words, the choice is yours. As a parent, when I told my children that we might do something, they took it to mean that I would think about it. But it wasn't always a certainty. I made the decision on the might. I decided what would happen for my family. But this verse... This verse takes away the might from the parent, God the Father, and places it on us, the children. The word might is defined in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary as something that is possible, meaning that it can happen. In other words, the might in John 3.17 lets us know that it is not just possible, It is an absolute certainty that all who believe can be saved. The choice is yours. God was waiting at the first offer of redemption, and he is waiting now. He wants his children to remember that when we choose the possible that is offered through the death and resurrection of his son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, We get to walk in the word as written in Romans chapter 8, verse 1, which in the Amplified Bible translation reads, Therefore, there is now no condemnation, no guilty verdict, no punishment for those who are in Christ Jesus, who believe in him as personal Lord and Savior. God is a gentleman. He will not force anyone to accept the love of the Savior the love that covers our sins, the love that leads to life changes, the love that delivers a not guilty verdict, the love that with certainty leads to eternal life in heaven. Our Father doesn't want anyone to reject the Savior's love, for rejection will lead to a guilty verdict, punishment, and eternal separation from Him. He wants us to remember that the might The possible can happen. The choice is yours. I admonish each of you, my brothers and sisters, if you have not done so, accept the possible, the not guilty verdict, the love that reconnects us with God the Father, the love that in Romans chapter 5, 8, it said, was commended toward us even while we were yet sinners. Acceptance or rejection? Acceptance or rejection? The choice is yours.